Embiid is leading the NBA in scoring with just under 30 points per. Currently has the shortest odds at Caesars Sportsbook to win the MVP. You see the reigning MVP, Jokic, right behind him. Seems to be the only player with a chance to beat out Embiid. NBA champ Kendrick Perkins with us now on SportsCenter. Perk, so how did last night's matchup affect this MVP race in your mind? Ooh, did you see it? It was beautiful. You know, all the retired players, they had something to smile about. You know why? Because those two big guys, the front runners for the MVP, they guarded each other. It was old school basketball at its finest. But I give the edge to MB. Look, MB showed us why he's more skilled offensively for us his ability to get buckets. I thought the others just didn't come to play and didn't help him out. But when you look at what Embiid was doing, I thought he did it in great fashion. Although they lost, I thought he was the better basketball player last night, better than Jokic, and that's saying a lot. But overall, I thought Embiid proved his point and made his case why he should be the front runner over uh, Jokic for as the MVP uh, candidate. Joel Embiid can't do everything, and you could see depth and bench scoring is a big reason why the Sixers have been struggling mm -hmm. of late and why Denver won last night. Now, earlier this year, Steph Curry was in all the MVP conversations. How about what he did last night with the return of Draymond Green? Steph dropping 47 points on his 34th birthday against the Wizards and the return of Draymond, the 10-year vet, making his first appearance since January 9th, coming off the bench, chipping in with 6.6 6 dimes and seven boards. He's dealing with a lower back injury. Here's Steve Kerr. Thrilled to have him back. Nope. Been watching this for a long time, you know. Plus 24 and 20 minutes. Um, the game changed immediately when he got out there um, in a lot of different ways. It changed for Steph right, right away as soon as Draymond got out there. I think he had an assist to him like five seconds in. Um, and uh, the, the chessboard changes with, with Draymond out there um, with Steph. You know, it's, everything looks and feels a little bit different. And it's uh, it's tougher to navigate defensively, so uh, for our opponent. So, um, and I haven't even mentioned his his defense, you know, yet. So, Raymond changes everything for us. My compliments there from Coach Kerb. When you look at this specific team, the dynamic completely changes. The energy changes when Dre's on the court. And when you saw his performance last night, specifically around Steph Curry, where do you stack the Warriors out in the West? Oh, they're a title contender with Draymond Green. Listen, when you talk about a guy that brings that swagger, that big brother to the team, look, Steph Curry was smiling so hard last night, his lips were almost touching his ears. Look, Draymond Green is so valuable. He does all the intangibles that don't show up in the box score. So he was a guy that was voted in the All-Star game by the coaches, and he does an average double-figure rebounds, double-figure assists, or double figure uh, points. And so what that goes to show you is, is that his leadership is unmatched. And when you have a guy that you can put on the floor and he can elevate and put the key in the back of your best player, that speaks volumes. With a healthy Draymond Green, they're, actually, they're, they're for sure a title favorite. I still give the Suns the slight edge, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Warriors make it out of the West. If Draymond Green is healthy. And the key is healthy, right? Because of that back, it could always act up. Last night's game was mm -hmm. Golden State's first with Draymond, Steph, and Clay all on the floor together in over a thousand days. K Perk, Ooh. appreciate you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.